What's up guys, Johnny Dell back with another episode of 49ers Playbook. Today we're going to take a look at Emmanuel Sanders' first game in a Niner uniform. While he didn't put up huge numbers, he caught a touchdown pass and two third down passes, both for first downs. In his limited debut, he still showed his precise route running and veteran experience that should be crucial for the 49ers passing game moving forward. The first play was only a four yard gain, but there's still some nice things to see. We split Ross Dwelly out wide, and with a corner covering him, this reveals zone coverage. Carolina has two deep safeties and a corner playing off coverage, showing cover six with the quarters coverage to Sanders' side. From here, we run a simple two-man stick concept. I like how Sanders runs his route. He's going to run up to six and back to four, meaning he runs his route deep enough to push the corner into a back pedal with off coverage and then comes back to the ball, taking away the corner's angle of attack to the football. The second catch was for the first score of the game, a four-yard touchdown. Here, we're going to run a variation on a stick concept. Carolina is in cover one lurk where it's man coverage with a short and deep middle zone help defenders. George Kittle is going to run a short curl to the inside shoulder of his defender, which helps block off the defender from breaking off Kittle and attacking the stick route by Sanders. From the end zone view, you can see how Sanders gives Reed enough of a fake to create outside leverage, which allows him to run away from the coverage. The ball was tipped at the line, and Sanders does a good job adjusting to make the catch. If it wasn't tipped, the pass wouldn't have been into a tight of a window as it seemed. This was a big third down conversion in the game as it was third and 11. Here, we're going to run a sucker concept, but pair it with a flat route to disguise it as a spot concept. From what Luke Keekley will see, this looks like a spot concept with a spot route and a flat route. The idea with the sucker concept is that you run a short curl to suck up the underneath defender and run an in route into the intermediate middle zone. Carolina is going to be in a cover three zone and they'll use their defensive end to jam the running back out of the backfield, so it's only a three man rush. Because from Keekley's view it looks like a spot concept, when Jimmy gives him a little pump fake he quickly drives on the spot route which will open up Sanders on his in route. Jimmy throws the ball low so that the safety, Trey Boston, can't make a big hit. This was another third down in the game. It was third and four. We're going to come out in an empty set and run two concepts on this play. Carolina is going to be in a cover two zone. First, we're going to run a shallow cross concept with George Kittle and Debo Samuel. The shallow cross concept is a vertical stretch of the Will linebacker. By running Sanders also on a crossing route, you now have a trail concept with him and George Kittle. The trail concept being a horizontal stretch of the middle hook defender. With the two concepts combined, you have a triangle stretch of the defense. The variation here is that instead of running a standard shallow crossing route, Sanders is going to run an option route, where if it's cover three, he'll keep running the shallow cross. If it's cover two, he's going to sit his route down and break outside, creating an Ohio concept with the outside vertical route. As Jimmy drops back, he'll see that the defense stays in a cover two zone, and from there, he's going to work the outside concept with the vertical clearing out the cloud defender it opens up enough space for Sanders on his four-yard route for a first down. All right, guys. Well, there it is. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, you can interact with me in the comments, on Reddit, or at 49erswebzone.com in the Coach's Film Analysis thread. Subscribe and hit the notifications button to keep getting more breakdowns of the 49ers all season long and hopefully, hopefully, into late January. Well, as always, go Niners!